question was left for me recently on a YouTube video. Life without design is erratic. I will have that video linked in the description box below today's video. And that was a really powerful message that I delivered in that, in that footage. And it was from a recent Instagram stories. You don't want to miss it because I have an exercise for you to do so that you can get better in a particular area. So check it out. But Carrie left a YouTube comment with a question. I'm going to read that to you. Carrie says the statement that hit me the third time I listened to this was if you are offended, what in your life needs changing? I implemented your daily task list years ago when you posted a video about scheduling your tasks on Google Calendar. I schedule everything that needs to be done, but there isn't enough time in the day to do everything. I underestimate the time needed and overfill my day, not allowing for interruptions from children and just everyday things that happen in life like spills and lost items. Probably sounds familiar to everyone watching today. She proceeds to say, I pick up where I left off the next day in each time block doing work tasks during my work time block and personal tasks during my personal time block. My biggest issue, I think, is inefficiency. I just finished your three-week intense program. I didn't finish everything, but I am still plugging away at each task during my personal blocks while still trying to get enough sleep. I see why you eat simple meals and repeat them daily. I too have started doing that. Thank you for your no-nonsense practical videos. They have helped me in all areas of my life. I am continually growing and stretching. I am thankful to God for each person and thing he puts on my path to help me do that. I pray I keep listening and examining my life instead of being offended. Well, thank you, Carrie, for submitting that question and sharing her story. So many of us can relate, and I have some workshops and videos that complement everything that Carrie talked about. And three week intense for quarter three, registration is open. There will be links to everything on the corresponding blog post, which is always your top link, as well as in the description box below. But I'm going to read to you what I replied back to Carrie. Hello, Carrie. I appreciate your sharing and your loyal support of my teachings and programs. It's fantastic that you schedule everything that needs to be done. Based on what you shared, here are a few observations that hopefully you gain insight from. You must, and I emphasize must, believe there is not enough time in the day to do everything. This is all the more reasons to have solid systems in order so you don't miss the urgent tasks at hand. Everything is important and needs to be addressed at some point, but not all priorities, obligations, and responsibilities are urgent. That's where your systems come into play. Create them, trust them, and follow them with persistence. If you've recognized that you underestimate your time, as I say, believe yourself or showing yourself who you are, you tend to underestimate your time. Okay, so you either attempt to correct it by avoiding a system or plan and end up feeling discouraged and defeated, or you create a system that cushions your time around each task and obligation. If at all possible, I cushion every task. That prevents me from doing it in a sloppy fashion and possibly making an error, later needing to clean up, therefore causing me more time. Be methodical in everything. Be 
methodical in everything. You will find that you are more efficient when doing this. Sleep is critical, so yes, get enough sleep. You will need the recovery to sustain everything on your plate. Protect your bedtime and wake time. Then set that task, sleep, aside. It's solid and concrete. Don't power struggle it. From there, how many hours are left? This is your wake window. Master those hours with systems, routines, and plans and avoid distractions at all costs. Often, that's where the inefficiency lies. Yes, I simplify my meals. No fancy schmancy recipes for my day-to-day -day eating. I save that for family dinners with our adult children or entertaining. Simplify whatever you can. Eating is like sleep. It is essential. You protect it. What can I do to streamline something essential? Oh, I make it simple. I make it easy. I make it fluid. I hope what I shared with you today in my reply to Carrie's situation and question can help you to master your life. I would listen to this again, take notes, put it on your personal document. Check out my workshops where I address all the topics from time blocking to organize tomorrow, today, plan next week, this week, and how to create your personal documents and live a mastery life how you see it. I also encourage you to look into my one-on-one -on -one coaching and my three-week intense program. Quarter three begins in July. We'd love to have you join the community. Thanks for listening. Please feel free to weigh in and don't forget to click the subscribe button.